DI boxes, what's the difference? Coming up. So first, sa nanggaling yung term na DI? So basically, it's direct injection or direct insertion, whatever term you want to use. Anyway, nakakaintindi na tayo when we say we need a DI. The main purpose of uh, yung mga DIs natin is to convert unbalanced signals to, to balanced signals. Or for the more technical adept, you get your high impedance line level signals converted to low impedance mic level signals so that we could run the signal farther as the rule states kasi diba? you could never go you shouldn't go beyond 15 feet when using uh, unbalanced cables uh, you're more susceptible to uh, noise and even RF so anything beyond you use a DI para you know you convert it to balanced mas shielded na signal going to your console so passive DIs and active DIs so what's the difference in terms of function, in terms of their build, diba? So, you've got your passive DI, PL inputs there and the XLR out there. So, all it contains is a transformer. It's called the passive DI kasi passive lang siya. It doesn't have any electronics. So, it's the transformer that converts your line level signal to a balanced line. Whereas, active DI serves, serves more like a preamp so, ano na yan? It's, uh, there's active electronics inside and you power that either with a 9-volt battery or via phantom power, so supplyan mo yan. And as a, as a preamp, yung job niya kasi is to boost the signals to a usable level and then throw it down the line. So, what to use in what situation? It all boils down to a simple rule. It all depends on the source. If you've got a source that's electronic that's powered such as a keyboard a e-drums dj mixer something like that that's an active electronic device if you've got that as a source you use a passive di so active active source passive di tapos pag meron ka namang passive source such as a bass guitar a piezo pickup ng, ng gitara then you use an active di which serves as a preamp um, active DIs are usually powered by battery or uh, it could also be powered by phantom power. Uh, one of the questions would usually be, paano ba yun? Kung naka-battery, do you have to take it out? Or uh, pag if a phantom power, hindi. Don't worry, uh, most uh, DI, active DIs naman are designed to be, even though may battery dyan, pag maramdaman na niya na mayroong phantom power, mananal lang yung, ano, yung, yung connection sa battery. So, walang problema. Um, do you leave the battery inside of an active DI? Yep, there's no problem with that because the, the, the DI will only be activated, shall we say, yung electronics niya, if it feels na may nakasaksak dun sa PL. So if you leave the 9 volt battery inside the active DI, kahit na, nasa toolbox lang yan or what, don't worry, hindi madadrain yung battery dahil hindi mag-on yan because yung input man wala nakasaksak. Alright, so again, Active source, passive DI, passive source, active DI. So there, we covered the uh, basics of a DI. A few more videos we'll do about DIs uh, coming up. Um, I'd like to thank the guys of um, TMS for lending us the gear. You've got some Mackie and uh, Art Pro Audio DIs here. If you need more information about the, the stuff we use, check out the, the, the link in the description. And I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like it. It uh, encourages us to do more. If you love it, do share it, please. And um, see you next time.